right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 294, titled Droids Make Their Way to the Escape Pod. Let's learn more about the adventures of C-3PO. The droid's rough landing crushed three Brawlian rebels who had secretly thrown their lot with Count Dooku. The rebels had outfitted their soldiers with clone trooper armor and planned to storm the presidential palace. C-3PO's head was hurriedly reattached by R2-D2. And when the droids came across the foe troopers, loose servo motors and C-3PO caused his hand to slap one trooper in the face. The rebel fell to the ground and accidentally blasted a companion, which led to a panic among the rebels and a round of blasting. A thermal detonator was thrown and C-3PO and R2-D2 were suddenly the only ones left standing. Ignorant of the plot they had just foiled, they returned to the palace, where Padme berated them for being out too late. In the same year, the Republic chased the Confederacy from the Core Worlds and Inner Rim and began taking the fight to their opponents in the Outer Rim. Padme's loyalist committee of senators saw this as a cue for the Supreme Chancellor to relinquish his emergency powers and scheduled an appointment for him to discuss the matter. C-3PO and Padme joined their loyalist compatriots outside of Palpatine's office Office, where they were dismissed by the Sate Pestage, one of his chief advisors. Despite this, the group waited for Palpatine to conclude a meeting with the rest of his inner circle and was eventually welcomed in by the Chancellor. As Senator Organa appealed that Palpatine overturn the Enhanced Security and Enforcement Act that allowed warrantless searches and seizures, the Chancellor told him to bring it before the Senate and recognize C-3PO as having been built by Anakin. C-3PO was honored that the Chancellor remembered him. The distraction offered by the Outer Rim siege allowed Separatists to launch a siege of Coruscant and kidnap the Supreme Chancellor. During the battle, a hole was blown in the side of Padme's apartment, causing a good deal of distress to C-3PO. His master was unfazed, however, and along with C-3PO and Typho's assistant, began evacuating the residents of the building. Afterwards, C-3PO and Padme made their way to the Senate Rotunda and rendezvous with Senators Organa and Mon Mothma, who were in the company of Jedi Masters Shakti and Stas Ali. As Separatist vulture droids and droid fighters flew through the planet's skyways and rained destruction down on the Coruscanti people, the two Jedi were searching for and attempting to protect the Chancellor. They offered Ali's skimmer to the Senators and took off on T's speeder bike to Palpatine's residence at the 500 Republica building. C-3PO and the Senators boarded the skimmer and Senator Organa piloted it through thick traffic. But they were soon shot down by vulture droids and made a crash landing on a landing platform. After after exiting the downed vehicle, Amidala and Organa used blasters to keep vulture droids in patrol mode at bay in order to allow LAAT gunships clear shots at them, and the group then took refuge in the Embassy Mall shopping center. That's it for now. More information on the next C-3PO card. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's a puzzle piece. All right, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Card of the Day. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.